when it comes to energy, the experts say Florida is on the brink of a crisis, but they also say that we could be poised for huge economic gains if legislators and business leaders can figure out how to make plants in the sun an economically viable source of renewable energy. We have many fuel sources we can grow in Florida. We're one of the few states that can grow basically year-round. Not only does Florida have many natural biomass resources like grass, trees, and other crops that can be converted into fuel, but Commissioner of Agriculture Charles Bronson says the state also has a lot of land to do it, more than 14 million acres in forest alone. But that doesn't mean there aren't major obstacles. The only way this works is to have plants close enough to the growing area that we're not spending so much money hauling the, the fuel product to the plant. Most experts at the 2010 Florida Energy Summit agree that the if you build it they will come philosophy is not a strategy that will work here. There has to be a viable market for clean energy already in place. In order for biomass to fully realize its potential in Florida, you're going to have to have a renewable energy policy that's put in place that uh, creates a little certainty for either developers to come in or existing biomass uh, biomass developers to uh, sell their power to utilities. The largest biomass plant in North America is located in Palm Beach County and owned by Florida Crystals. Sean Stafford represents them and others and says the current policies make it so biomass producers can't sell their energy for a profit. That's because the only potential buyers in Florida are investor-owned utilities who dictate the price they'll pay. Florida Power and Light, Tico Energy, others, uh, Progress for that matter, they all have monopolies where they're guaranteed a certain return. So when they build this, it's the consumer that pays for these products because we have a limited monopoly in our state. But with the support of incoming Senate President Mike Herodopoulos and others, Florida may have the political will to make that change. We need help from Washington. Clearly, unfortunately, they're not going to give it to us, so we're going to do it on our own, and we're going to be aggressive about it. In Orlando, Lane Wright, Sunshine State News.